In the dusty corridors of history, where time and secrets intertwine, there lies a tapestry woven with enigmatic threads. Today, we embark on a journey through the annals of time, exploring artifacts that defy explanation and beckon us to unravel the mysteries of ancient civilizations. In the dimly lit halls of historical enigma, one ancient manuscript stands shrouded in mystery, the Voynich Manuscript. Discovered in 1912 by rare book dealer Wilfred Voynich, this medieval text has defied all attempts at decipherment. Its vellum pages are adorned with bizarre illustrations of unknown plants, celestial diagrams, and human figures, all accompanied by an elusive, undeciphered script. The origin and purpose of the Voynich manuscript remain elusive, captivating cryptographers, linguists, and historians for over a century. The manuscript's pages seem to hint at a systematic knowledge, with sections that suggest herbal, astronomical, and possibly alchemical themes. Some theorize that it could be a coded scientific or herbal treatise from an unknown civilization, while others speculate about its mystical origins. The intricate illustrations, reminiscent of a dreamlike world, add an ethereal quality to the enigma. Cryptographers have tirelessly attempted to crack the code, but the Voynich manuscript secrets remain locked away. The characters in its script refuse to yield their meanings, leaving us to ponder whether it conceals lost knowledge, ancient wisdom, or perhaps a deliberate attempt to mystify. Beneath the waves of time lies the Antikythera mechanism, a marvel that challenges our perception of ancient technology. Discovered in the Antikythera shipwreck off the Greek island in 1901, this ancient Greek device is a symphony of gears and dials. Dating back to approximately 100 BCE, the Antikythera mechanism is believed to be an astronomical calculator, predicting celestial events with astonishing precision. As we delve into its intricate gears, questions emerge. How did a civilization from antiquity possess the knowledge to create such a sophisticated mechanism? The Antikythera mechanism hints at a level of technological advancement previously thought impossible for its time. Its purpose in navigating the cosmos and predicting astronomical phenomena suggests an understanding of the universe that challenges the conventional narrative of ancient science. The device's complexity suggests a level of craftsmanship and engineering prowess that sparks both awe and curiosity. Was the Antikythera mechanism a unique creation, or are there lost remnants of a technological legacy waiting to be discovered beneath the sands of time? Journeying to Mesopotamia, we encounter an artifact that hints at the potential for ancient electrical knowledge, the Baghdad Battery. Unearthed in the region of Kujit Rabbanir Baghdad, these clay jars, dating back to around 250 BCE to 250 CE, contain copper cylinders and iron rods. The composition raises eyebrows and sparks speculation about their purpose. Could these humble vessels be remnants of a primitive battery? The Baghdad battery poses questions that challenge our understanding of ancient technology. Were they employed for electroplating, electrotherapy, or perhaps a purpose lost to the ravages of time? The mysteries contained within these clay jars beckon us to explore the extent of ancient civilization's scientific achievements. The Baghdad battery invites us to consider the possibility that ancient cultures possessed knowledge of electricity, a notion that disrupts our preconceived notions of technological progress. As we unravel the secrets hidden within these unassuming jars, the allure of the unknown becomes a conduit to the mysteries of ancient ingenuity. Step into the hallowed halls of faith and skepticism, where the Shroud of Turin lies as a silent witness to centuries of contemplation. This linen cloth bears a faint, enigmatic image, an image believed by some to be the imprint of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion. Discovered in Turin, Italy, the shroud has become a nexus of debate, intertwining science, faith, and historical inquiry. Scientific analyses, including carbon dating, have placed the shroud in the medieval period, yet questions persist. How did the intricate image, seemingly scorched into the fabric, come to be? The juxtaposition of religious veneration and scientific scrutiny invites us to delve into the mysteries of authenticity and revelation. As we navigate the blurred boundaries between the sacred and the empirical, 
the Shroud of Turin becomes a testament to the enduring power of belief. Is it a divine relic or an artistic creation? The silent whispers of history persist, urging us to unravel the threads that connect the tangible and the transcendent. High above the arid expanse of the Nazca Desert in Peru, colossal figures etched into the earth beckon us to contemplate the Nazca Lines, an ancient enigma etched into the very fabric of the landscape. Enormous geoglyphs, including animals, plants, and geometric patterns, stretch across miles of desert floor, defying explanation and inviting speculation. Were the Nazca Lines an ancient astronomical calendar, mapping celestial events with precision? Or do they serve as spiritual pathways, resonating with mystical significance? The unanswered questions echo through time, intertwining with the mesmerizing artistry of the ancients. As we soar over these monumental creations, the purpose of the Nazca lines remains elusive. Were they meant as messages to the gods or extraterrestrial beings? The mysterious symbols etched into the earth continue to captivate, leaving us to ponder the motivations of a civilization lost to the ages. Unfurl the ancient map crafted by the Ottoman cartographer Piri Reis, a document that challenges our understanding of historical cartography. Created in 1513, the Piri Reis map reveals coastlines and continents with uncanny accuracy, including parts of Europe, Africa, and the Americas. How did a 16th-century cartographer depict geographical details that seemingly surpassed the knowledge of his time? The map sparks a myriad of questions. Was Piri Reis drawing from ancient sources now lost to us, or does the map hint at a global awareness in the centuries before the age of exploration? The inked whispers of this cartographic anomaly beckon us to consider the possibility of a forgotten age of maritime knowledge. As we navigate the seas of speculation surrounding the Piri Reis map, the allure of its mysteries persists. Was it a fortunate compilation of older maps, or does it hint at an ancient seafaring legacy that defies conventional historical narratives? The Piri Reis map stands as a cartographic riddle, inviting us to unravel the secrets concealed within its inked contours. In the annals of ancient linguistics, the Rosetta Stone emerges as a key that unlocks the mysteries of Egypt's hieroglyphic script. Discovered during Napoleon's campaign in 1799, this decree issued in 196 BC at Memphis bears inscriptions in three scripts, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic. The Rosetta Stone became a linchpin for deciphering the hieroglyphs that had long eluded scholars. As we stand in the presence of this linguistic Rosetta Stone, questions abound. How did this slab of basalt become the Rosetta Stone of understanding ancient Egyptian writing? The meticulous work of deciphering hieroglyphs, led by Jean-Francois Champollion in 1822, unveils a rich tapestry of historical and cultural knowledge. The Rosetta Stone invites us to contemplate the power of language, both written and spoken, in connecting us to the minds of those who lived millennia ago. The echoes of ancient voices resonate through the ages, inspiring us to decode the secrets of a civilization that thrived along the banks of the Nile. Beneath the silent soil of China's Shaanxi province lies an army of clay sentinels, the Terracotta Army. Discovered in 1974 near the city of Xi'an, this vast collection of life-sized soldiers, horses, and chariots stands as a testament to the ambition of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. Each soldier, crafted with meticulous detail, guards the emperor's tomb in the afterlife. As we gaze upon the stoic faces of the Terracotta Army, questions arise. What compelled the ancient artisans to create such an awe-inspiring display of craftsmanship? Were these soldiers modeled after real warriors, or are they the product of artistic imagination? The archaeological site continues to yield new discoveries, offering glimpses into the military strategies and burial practices of ancient China. The Terracotta Army beckons us to traverse the corridors of time, to envision the Emperor's mausoleum as a metaphysical realm guarded by an army frozen in clay. The silent sentinels invite us to ponder the eternal dance between life and death, where artistry and devotion intertwine in an exploration of ancient beliefs and rituals. 
Within the cryptic scrolls of the ancient world, the Copper Scroll stands out as an anomaly. Unearthed among the Dead Sea Scrolls in the 1950s, this metallic document deviates from its parchment counterparts. Instead of religious texts, it unveils a list, a list of hidden treasures and their mysterious locations. As we scrutinize the intricate language of the Copper Scroll, questions arise. Were these treasures real, or are they the fabrications of an ancient imagination? The enigmatic inventory hints at a world of riches hidden in the desolate landscapes surrounding the Dead Sea. The unanswered questions linger, inviting us to embark on a treasure hunt through the corridors of time. The Copper Scroll unveils a narrative of opulence and secrecy, a tantalizing glimpse into a world where fortunes were concealed and whispers of ancient treasures echo through the ages. It remains an unsolved riddle, an encrypted message from antiquity that sparks curiosity and beckons us to decipher its coded secrets. Carved from the translucent depths of crystal, the crystal skulls emerge as beguiling artifacts, each a mesmerizing creation with an aura of mystery. These elaborately crafted skulls, often associated with supernatural powers and ancient wisdom, have captured the imagination of seekers and skeptics alike. As we delve into the realm of these crystal enigmas, questions materialize. Are these skulls remnants of a lost civilization with advanced knowledge, or are they the artistic expressions of skilled artisans from centuries past? Legends speak of their purported abilities to channel energies, but are these mystical properties real or merely the product of folklore? The crystal skulls invite us to explore the intersections of myth and reality, where the ethereal allure of translucent quartz and jade becomes a canvas for the mystical tales of bygone eras. As we gaze into the hollow eyes of these enigmatic creations, the boundary between reality and legend blurs, leaving us to ponder the secrets embedded within the crystalline depths. In the sacred soils of ancient Jerusalem, an artifact emerges, bearing the imprint of a biblical monarch, the seal of King Hezekiah. Unearthed in the awful excavations, this small but significant clay impression carries the name of Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, King of Judah, dating back to the 8th century BCE. As we stand before this ancient seal, questions stir. What stories does it hold about the reign of King Hezekiah? Does the seal authenticate the historical narratives found in biblical texts, or does it offer a glimpse into the bureaucratic practices of ancient kingdoms? The seal of King Hezekiah becomes a tangible link between the archaeological record and the pages of religious history. This small but potent artifact invites us to peer into the corridors of power in ancient Judah, where royal decrees were sealed and the insignia of kingship held profound significance. As we decipher the symbols and inscriptions, the seal of King Hezekiah becomes a key that unlocks a chapter of antiquity, prompting us to envision the world in which this monarch ruled. These artifacts, scattered across the vast canvas of time, whisper tales of ancient ingenuity, spiritual beliefs, and the intricate dance of civilizations. In their silence, they challenge us to unravel the mysteries, urging us to step beyond the familiar and embark on a quest for understanding. The corridors of history beckon, and within their shadows lie the keys to unlocking the secrets of our shared past. As we conclude this expedition into the unknown, we invite you to subscribe and join us on future adventures. The echoes of history beckon, and there are countless tales yet to be unveiled. Subscribe, and together, let's continue our journey into the depths of time, where every artifact is a portal to the mysteries of our past.